How you doing YouTube? Welcome back to another video the House Money Investing Channel. Uh, in this video here I'll just go over some gains that I had today in the market as well as uh, some stock picks I had and some stock news. Um, after this video I'll be posting uh, four stocks to buy that I'll be purchasing tonight to uh, swing trade in the account. If you're new to the channel what I do at, here at uh, with house money investing is just what it sounds like I deploy capital into the market after a set period of time I withdraw my capital back out the market leaving the gains in the market hence uh, the house money which is in my opinion free stock free shares I can let right out for decades and compound and build uh, risk free so this here is my Webull account as you can see my balance is $1,382.31 I'm up $281.19. That's 25.54% return. Uh, my top two uh, stocks. This one I have 22 uh, stocks in currently. Uh, my top gainer is Spotify. Uh, I paid $261.40 for a share. It's worth $328.06 now. So it's up $66.66. Um, that's going to be 25.5% that it's up on. So um, you can look into. As you can see there, Spotify and Square. You can look up Spot and SQ yourself, do your own due diligence, and you know check them out. See if that's something that you might want to invest in in the future. Uh, I would advise so. Spotify is a great company, great long-term company. Uh, so is Square. Square is dominating the space that it's in now. Like Square and PayPal are the two leaders. Amen. Then here I posted a uh, Sony hit its 250, 52-week high today. Uh, I do own some Shoney in my Robinhood portfolio that I've swung trade, so it's house money shares, and it's up 10% at the time of, uh, that I screenshotted this, and I just put hashtag PS5, so basically like, you know, PlayStation 5's coming out it's around the holidays, it's an easy pick to uh, swing trade Sony, like I did, because you know it's going to make money, so I swung trade that, swing traded that, and you know, got some house money shares. Then a uh, big Bitcoin exchange, Coinbase files to go public during the uh, Bitcoin fri fri uh, frenzy. So basically, Coinbase is going public, which I do invest on Coinbase. It's an app that I have downloaded on my phone that I use frequently. Coinbase, uh, Crypto.com, eToro, Cash App, Robinhood. I do buy Bitcoin and several other coins like Ethereum, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, uh, Cardona. XRP which is Ripple and several others about 20 different coins that I invest in into the crypto market as well On top of the stocks and stuff that I um, invest in So coinbase is something I'm gonna be looking out for the IPO and it's something I will get into as well This here is out of my Robinhood account. This is CRWD As you can see here, um, this is something I swing traded before as well And I have um <clears throat> you know almost 30% of a share and I'm up 55% on this position um, it's occurred $21.63 worth of profits so the first time I swing traded it it was in another brokerage possibly may have been Robinhood but I think it was like an M1 or something my profit was around $39, $40 somewhere around there so um, you know this is all free stock this is all house money stock that's just gaining and uh, building on its own and as you can see this $60 is only 1.54 percent of my portfolio so um, if you're any good with numbers you can kind of uh, guesstimate what my uh, total balance is then I posted my Weibo again uh, I went from 281 now it's up to 283 and Spotify was up $66 now at this point it's up $72 so you know I'm just earning passive income just building my positions up uh, Spotify and Square are both positions that I bought into um, I was supposed to swing swing trade Spotify but when I closed it I didn't get filled on the order so you know I said whatever I'll just leave the full share on there because this is a company I believe in uh, long term uh, Square is something I bought as well like every three months uh, in my house money portfolios I'll deploy some money just for long term investments just to kind of give it a boost um, along with the swing trading so I did buy one share of square uh, probably about three months
months ago or so. This here is my Robin Hood. I'm sorry, Robin Hood. My stash portfolio. This is my IRA, which these are long-term holds as well. As you see, I've made $87.43. It's up 34.29%, which is also a very good percentage. Um, my top holdings, the top three are Upwork, Resolve Group, and DaVidia. Uh, Upwork, it's up 179.53%. And it says I've invested $255 so far in this IRA account. So, of course, 34% of that return is going to be around $87. Um, this here is my stash account. <clears throat> this is also something I purchased um, sort of for the long term. I uh, put $45 on it. Uh, it's up 50%. I made another $22 on it. So, that's a good, nice return there as well. Uh, Tesla, some I swing traded as well. I swung traded it before. My profit was $14. Uh, that $14 has now turned into $103. So I've made $89 off a $14 investment. This kind of show you that you know you don't need big money to make some money. You know you can turn something double digit into some triple digit, some single digit, and some double digit, so on and so forth. So that's just kind of show people you know if you don't have a big brokerage account, if you don't have a lot of money. I encourage people to just start out small. You know, I started off with a dollar a week, and I have massive gains, and I have massive positions in some of my private portfolios. Here in the house money account, I've accumulated over twelve thousand dollars worth of house money shares uh, over the past six months. I started this challenge back in uh, June. This here is my public account. As you see, I have seventeen hundred eighty-nine dollars of house money. I'm up $360, it's 25%, so I'm doing pretty well in my public account as well. You know, it's up double, di almost twice, almost three times as much as the uh, average. Uh, then this here is a SPAC. Uh, this is Tattoo Chef, TTCF. This is a company that I believe in for the long term. Uh, I did get one share of this, and it's up. You know, it's only up 5%, but that's cool. Um, this is a new position. I think I got this back in November. And um, this is something I believe in. Um, you know, Tattoo Chef, Very Good Foods, which I don't have any positions in, which I should. Um, Beyond Meat, I definitely have a few um, different positions and different brokerages in Beyond Meat. This is in that sector, and I think Tattoo Chef would do very well. Then I post a workhorse. This is a purchase I made yesterday. Um, I wrote, if they land the USP contract, then I put a rocket. Of course, it's going to go to the moon if they land that contract. It's beaten down due to uh, pushback dates. You know, they keep pushing back the contract, the, the uh, announcement of who's getting the contract. So that's really why it's be beaten down. And just because they push back the contract, the fundamentals of this company haven't changed. So long-term gains, I believe they'll have those regardless of the contract. They have fully electric last mile vehicles, they have drones, um, they have actual physical product that work, and they have the in infrastructure to push out these vehicles. So, you know, I see them dominating this space. They're kind of the first in this space. You know, you got EV buses, EV cars, uh, people coming out with like Lower Towns Motors coming out with the EV commercial trucks, like the commercial pickup trucks. Of course, Tesla and supposedly Nikola are doing the um, 18 wheelers. Then you got Hylion. Um, which isn't fully electric it's actually um you know partial i don't know the i can't remember it's like biofuel or something like that uh hydrogen i believe so workhorse um is definitely something you know <clears throat> that i think will make some gains in the long term i own some i own some shares of this and then i own it um i just purchased a little bit yesterday just for a swing trade to try to build my position workhorse is something i see making money over the course of time that one We'll stroll up here. Uh, this here is my Robinhood account. As you can see, I have 400, I'm, I'm sorry, a little over $4,000. Um, this is house money as well. It's up 24%. So I've made $880 for the past year. Which is technically, if you look at the line, it was flat line. So basically, this is since June. This is just six months of investing, of me swing trading, <clears throat> using my house money strategy. And, uh, you know, this is what I've accumulated over that time in just this one brokerage, as well as the other ones that you've already seen. Scroll up here. All right. This is my 
Weeble again. Went from 281 to 283. Now it's up to 86. Um, Spotify is up to 73. It went from 66 to 72, 73. This is all in one day. You know, just making some gains, some steady gains. It's nice and it feels good. Uh, then this one here, you know, it's up 51% at this point. It's up $23. So steady gain in there. <clears throat> CRWD. Uh, now it's gained a total $21. So it's up 55%. Um, this is the uh, IRA in the stash account. Now it's up to $89. Work is now up 193%. And this here is a share in the IRA. This is actually the uh, Upwork position. And as you can see, this is a very small position. I only put $4, four about $4 in it. The rest of it, the four seventeen, is probably just from drip dividends. And um, it's up 104% here. And you know it's just making a little bit of profit so it's made another four dollars so it's more than doubled itself <clears throat> it's just something I'll leave in the long term it was a small position in Upwork uh, I do own an Upwork and some of my house money and long-term before I go so uh, it's been doing really good this year due to the pandemic and then Tesla now is up to hundred and eight dollars again this is a fourteen dollar investment I made ninety four dollars off of it so that's hundred eight dollars worth of Tesla there the fractional share then this is my public account again now it's up 364 up 25% so I'm making gains there as well uh, this is in my moo moo account or momo however you want to call it I call it moo moo um, this is NXE next gen energy and this is something um, I was supposed to swing trade it but this is something I bought a while back I bought seven shares and um, you know it's made ten dollars so it's up over a hundred percent um i paid a dollar 38 per share for these shares so you know this is like a little penny stock or something that um you know i made some nice gains on so far it isn't much money but like i said it all adds up and when you're in you know four or five hundred or more positions then all the little gains are going to add up to multiple you know multiple dollars this is another penny stock that i bought a while back i believe it was like in january in my Charles Schwab account and this position I'm up 115% so it's been doing as well as uh, pretty nice as well then Foo Chef went up some more it's now worth 22.16 Tattoo Chef I'm sorry then uh, <clears throat> I had some gains in CRW of course JKS shot up today uh, Sun W so as you see these are the three positions that I hold um, just price movements that, that went up uh, Nike uh, GS, Autodesk, um, they all hit 52-week um, high today, and these are also three companies that I own and swing trade quite often as well. So it's nice to see that they're making gains. Then I best I posted seven of the best uh, dividend aristocrats on the market. Uh, if you're into dividends, you like uh, monthly, quarterly, annually checks, annual paydays, or if you like to drip it and let it compound, build compound interest. Well. Wow. Then these are just a few that I posted today, um, just about an hour ago. You got Walmart, you got Clorox, you got AT&T, McDonald's, really the income, which is a REIT, federal, federal uh, realty, which is a REIT, and then you got Johnson & Johnson. These not only pay dividends, but they're also, um, some of them are also growth star stocks, you know. They might not move much, but they are growing. <clears throat> so if you like dividends, these are seven companies you can look into. And uh, even if you don't like dividends, you can always diversify your portfolio and have some dividends mixed in with like your growth stocks, your value stocks. I kind of, I kind of do it all, you know. I like dividends. I like growth. I like REITs. I like ETFs. I'm in the energy sector, you know, the EV sector, um, everything basically. I, I like it all around the board. If it's a good stock, I'm going to invest in it. And the last post for tonight was me purchasing my Robinhood. Uh, at this point, it's up $890, which is 24.97%. So the Robinhood account is doing pretty good as well. I'm gonna go ahead and purchase four stocks, and I'll make that. I'll drop that video here in a little while. Um, if you like, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you want to follow my journey, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell, get a notification. Um, you'll receive one of those every day because I do drop videos every day. And um, yeah, that's probably about it. I'll see you in the next one, guys.